please give a warm welcome to Mark Gell, who's the Global Vice President of Partner Ecosystem and Technology. Mark, welcome. Derek, hi. Thanks for having me. It's our pleasure and honor. Um, so, Mark, it's been 18 months now since we announced our strategic partnership with SAP. Um, how is it going? Has it really been 18 months? Time flies, right? Um, no, it's going, it's going great. Um, I think with all these strategic partnerships, it, it takes time to, to build the momentum, to build the understanding. Um, but I think we've, we've got past that point now. We've got good alignment with our teams. We're starting to see some, some really innovative uh, use cases, and we're starting to win some great customers, right? So, you know, some of the examples you've talked about today are great SAP customers um, and good opportunities for us. Um, but also, we're, we're seeing, um, you know, momentum in the marketplace. Um, one of our joint customers, Andritz, has, uh, was an innovation partner or won an innovation award uh, with Mendix and SAP this year. So, good momentum. Um, we also have a, a special program at SAP called Solex, and uh, we've been transitioning this program um, from on-premise to cloud, and uh, Mendix now is one of the top three uh, cloud partners that we have, which I think shows the momentum uh, that we've built, and I think the opportunity is there to, to get to number one quickly. Well, I like the sound of that, for sure. Um, so Mendix got acquired by Siemens. And I know a lot of people are wondering what that means to our partnership. What is SAP's view on this? It's an interesting question. I think it, in some ways it depends who you talk to, right? I mean, Siemens is a, is a customer of SAP. It's a partner of SAP, and it's also a competitor. Um, so we have this sort of co-opetition thing um, that is going on. Um, from my perspective, um, it's the partnership and the opportunity. You, you described this sort of blending of, of IT and OT. Um, this ability to create a digital twin, and I think this is where you know we're also working hard with Siemens to to deliver against that opportunity. Um, I think in the the context of those 20 different industries that that you alluded to, right? There's uh, the opportunity to bring that expertise and, and industry um, understanding to deliver against that. Um, and I think just from a you know from the relationship or our partnership standpoint, right? It's helping you to scale and helping you to scale quicker through the investment that, that, that they're making. So, you know, it's, it's a win-win for us. And, and I will echo that. And um, I know there are a lot of customers that are um, big SAP customers and Siemens customers. So I think there's a great opportunity to partner and show what we could do together. And uh, we certainly you know, are, are committed to the partnership with SAP. Now we're part of Siemens, and Siemens uh, thinks about that the same way. So nothing will change. In fact, I think it makes us stronger and more strategic to our customers. Absolutely. So um, I know SAP is investing heavily in bringing your customers um, to the cloud with solutions like the SAP Cloud Platform, uh, but also S4, HANA. Um, can you talk a bit more about that? Yeah, I mean, our, our core strategy is, is now to, to deliver on what we call the intelligent enterprise. I mean, you, again, sort of showed this idea of contextual applications in terms of in, in embedding intelligence into these applications. This is what we're doing across our product portfolio. Um, we have a number of enabling technologies, AI, machine learning, IoT capabilities that, that we're introducing into our core portfolio. Um, but we also realize that this can't all be delivered um, as out-of-the-box applications. We need to enable our customers to be innovative, to be agile, um, to, 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 to really sort of um, develop their businesses at, at pace and at scale. So this is where we're bringing together our S4 product portfolio, which is it's capturing that industry best practice with Cloud Platform, which is enabling our customers to keep the core clean, um, but then to, to basically drive edge innovation. So really do that at scale. So how, how does Mendix fit in this strategy? Uh, Mendix is, a, is a, a critical piece of that strategy. Um, you know, we have many type of, of developers. We have many types of use cases that need to be supported. So, you know, we, we see that need as well to go from sort of full stack development through to the citizen developer, and we're doing that with Mendix. So, you know, our vision and strategy is, is you know, enabling customers to, to get, you know, the latest cloud solutions from our portfolio 
but enabling them to be agile at the edge, right? So Mendix becomes part of that developer experience that, that we're enabling our partners and broader ecosystem, you know, the big strategic um, sort of consulting firms as well as smaller innovative um, firms as well, uh, some of the ones that you, you sort of mentioned um, earlier. Um, and then we're, we're, we're enabling our customers to, to, to really sort of progress on that journey towards digital and digital transformation at their own speed using Mendix and using our technology. So, so SAP is selling uh, Mendix as a uh, SAP Cloud Platform uh, Rapid Application Development, um, which means it runs natively on the SAP Cloud Platform. So if customers want to build a Mendix app, they can just one-click deploy to the SAP Cloud. Um, one of the use cases that we see a lot of traction in, in the market is customers that are um, moving to S4 HANA. They're moving their on-prem uh, ERP to the cloud, and they're then using Mendix to uh, keep the core clean, if you will, and build those extensions uh, and uh, differentiating functionalities on top of that. Yeah, I mean, I, I think this is a, a fundamental shift, right? I think, you know, historically, um, and I was discussing this just, just before um, the keynote, you know, historically, many of our customers um, had heavily customized their SAP landscapes, right? Everyone wants a unique solution um, that meets their unique business um, requirements. But, but what we see, or what we've seen there over the, the last 40 years is technical debt gets built into, into that landscape. So, you know, there's a lot more value that can be delivered by keeping the core clean, by, by having S4 as this, this stable core, and basically driving that edge innovation. So doing that on a native cloud platform um, where you're able to you know, deliver agile applications, but to leverage then the power of Mendix in terms of you know, that out of the box um, deployment, being able to, to use um, standard design principles that adhere to our opinionated models around how you build cloud native applications um, and then deploy that seamlessly. And, and more importantly, you know, this is for thousands of applications and use cases, right? I mean, you know, there was, it was a nice example in terms of 100 plus apps in three years. You know, we've got partners that are building, you know, 50, 100 apps in weeks, right? Not even in months. And then we've got customers that have a legacy estate of 2,000 plus apps that they need to migrate over to something like Mendix and Cloud Platform, so it's a huge opportunity. So um, talking about S4 HANA, uh, which obviously is the cloud-based um, uh, ERP, um, there's also an S4 database. So um, I just want to uh, take this opportunity to make another announcement together with SAP, and our teams have been working very closely together from an R&D perspective over the past few months. So I'm happy to announce a new capability uh, available today, which is Mendix for S, uh, SAP HANA database. <laughs> Which is very good news for uh, customers that are heavily invested into S4 um, and are moving to the cloud. Um, what's so uh, important about the uh, HANA database and, and Mendix supporting it? I mean, I, I, this is huge, right? I think that, uh, you know, we, we, SAP has this, this vision around in memory and, and really enabling customers to take advantage of all this business data that is out there, HANA becomes an enabling capability. Um, not all of our customers are in the cloud, so this gives this opportunity for, for our customers to build compelling um, applications with Mendix that can be deployed on premise as well as in the cloud and to do that seamlessly. Um, but it, it also allows for new types and class of applications that, that really leverage that intelligence, but leverage sort of you know real-time analytical capability. So this is this I think will provide a, a new opportunity for customers to to innovate across their entire estate. Well, we're very excited about it. And I think it's also a great opportunity, a great example of what we can do as strategic partners and what's unique about our partnership in the sense that our R and D uh, we're not just working together on the go-to-market side. We're also working very closely together from a product strategy and a product integration standpoint. So partners, we're customers partnering with um, um, SAP and Mendix uh, uh, are assured that they always have the latest access to uh, the technology and a certified integration of the two platforms. Mark, I want to thank you for uh, sharing your views. Please give him uh, a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Which brings me to my third point, make at scale. What do I mean? 
two things. Number one, going wide. Mark mentioned this. It's one thing to build one app in one department. It's a different challenge to build hundreds or maybe even thousands of apps. It's a very different challenge. How do you make sense of that? How do you govern such a landscape? And it's about going deep. Because it's a matter of time, and we've seen this many times, that one of those departmental apps starts to expand across the enterprise. More and more users start to use the application. The complexity of the app increases. Microservice architectures. So how do you manage uh, the complexity as you scale? So from our point of view, it's a, it, the main challenge is one of data integration. And if you think about scale, and if you think about data integration, there are several ways to, 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 um, to handle it, to think about it. The easiest way would be just to use a central data store. Have every app, have every team hook into the, the same da database, which is very efficient from a, data, from a developer standpoint, but not necessarily the most scalable. You can, of course, also um, put a piece of middleware in the middle, which is great to integrate, but the problem with that is you create another bottleneck. You create a dependency on a other team that's responsible for the integration. So in, over time, it starts to impact your velocity. And then there's a microservices way, which is kind of the best practice way to, to do it, which uh, is great. You have autonomous teams building independent services, and they can release whenever they want. But it's one thing to build you know, a system with three services. It's a different thing once you scale that out and once you start to add other services and other types of systems to your architecture. So how do you know which data is already in the, in the organization? How do you know, for example, if you're building a new data, uh, a new application that's handling customer data, that you're using the right data? You're not duplicating data. Um, and how do you do that without being dependent on other teams? And this problem gets exponentially bigger as you scale. These are great examples by Amazon and Netflix of their microservice architecture. And the funny thing is these hairballs show the landscapes, and this is actually what you want. But the question is, how do you manage this? How do you make sure your teams know where to get the data? How do you know your teams can integrate without the associated complexity that's typically part of enterprise integration? And this is what we set out to solve. So again, I'm very happy and excited to make another announcement today. We're launching a new offering, and we call it the Mendix Data Hub. Powering the discoverable enterprise, or how I like to call it, integration without the integration. What do I mean? The Data Hub is a data catalog. It's deeply integrated in the platform and the Mendix Studios. As you can see in the screenshot here, as a developer, you have immediate access to all the data in your organization directly from within your Mendix Studio. You can consume the data. You can drag and drop it on your app just as, a, as if it's a native data object in your new app. The vision we had when we came up with this vision, with this, uh, um, with the data hub was, we asked ourselves, it should feel like you're building one giant monolith application. It should feel like you're building on the same database. You have immediate access. And when you want to use data from another system, you shouldn't have to worry about building integrations, building mappings, anything like that. But in fact, as you do that, we want to make sure that at the same time, you're building this um, highly scalable, cloud-native, elegant, microservice architecture without even realizing it. That's the promise of the data hub. That's the promise of where we're going with the strategy. And of course, we want to make sure that there's curation, there's governance for IT to make sure that not everybody can just get any data uh, and expose any data what they want. But that's all in place. But the, 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 the vision here is that this will truly unleash makers to build apps that are not standalone, that reuse data in the enterprise, and uh, do that in a, in, a, in, a big, in a big way. And then lastly, we make sure this is integrated with all your other hubs, all your other middleware, all your other API gateways in your enterprise. We believe this is truly a paradigm shift, not just in low code, but in enterprise integration. And we're convinced this will unleash makers in a big way.